Hi guys, Justin and Nate from Backyard Russia here. Um, we've had a few of you guys suggest that we do a video where we show the prices of different uh, grocery items. So today we're going to do a like a grocery haul style uh, video. Uh, but before we get stuck into that, we're going to have to do our meal plan, which Nate's doing now with her. Um, here we'll show you. It's uh, her very own uh, printable. Mama planner, she calls it. Um, so yeah, gonna get that done, and then we can get the shopping list done, all ready for tomorrow morning uh, when we go shopping. So we will see you at the shops. So we're getting white tack. This is the best stuff. Yeah, Leaves we've used the blue tack, tack the and uh, blue tack doesn't work. It is 46.99, 47 rubles, just under a dollar. So we've been looking for the document sleeves so we can separate all our documents off when we have to do our separate applications. And here they are. And this is them. Sort of rigid, very easy to use, A4 size, so they fit in my little bag that I carry around. And it is 49 rubles a piece, so again, a bit under a dollar. One, two, how many do we need? Five. Three, four, five. A couple extra. Let's put those in the trolley. Okay, what's next on the list? Well, that's all of the uh, non-foodie stuff, so let's go to the foodie section. Cool, so we're finally getting into the title part of the uh, video, a grocery haul. So, we've been on the lookout for a glass baking tray with a, like a sealable lid uh, for storing stuff in the kitchen. Uh, uh, not in the kitchen. In the fridge. In the fridge, yeah. that's right. Like so, and <clears throat> um, that way we can cook up a large amount of things like um, spaghetti, well, uh, bolognese, like a bolognese sauce thing. Casseroles. Casseroles, curries and stuff. And just store it in the fridge or the freezer or whatever. And uh, it's really um, convenient to do it like that. So, we've been looking for some more of those kind of things. Glass containers with a syllable lid and we found some. So, Pyrex, it's a... Uh, 2.5 litre, 28 by 20 by 8 centimetres deep and 694.99. So we're going to get two of those. Two. And so it's time to get Anita's favourite protein snack. <laughs> Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Nuts, natural honey, and sea salt. So that is 479 rubles for 525 grams. And honey, this is for our breakfast and occasionally lunch or dinner. <laughs> yeah. 
So, Coco, how many? Four. Four. 49 rubles each. Uh, 400 grams. As you can see, it's the cheapest cocoa here uh, by a fair bit, but it is actually the best tasting. Okay, so we are at the Brecky Isle. Well, it's not actually the Brecky Isle, it's just the grains and stuff. Um, and what's that? Six, six packets there of rolled oats, and it is. 20 rubles for half a kilo, so 40 rubles a kilo. Yeah. And while we are in this section, we are getting some pasta, so it's right next to the oats. And that is for dinner and sometimes even lunch. And so this pasta that we get is actually pretty good pasta. Um, and it is 62 rubles for 400 grams. So one of the things that we uh, noticed coming to Russia was that you can get 70% here, which I hadn't actually seen before. Don't get it on your skin, burns. Forty-eight rubles. Is this one? Look, there we are. You get one of those for daddy. Just one. <laughs> so this is new. If, uh, for all of you who have already watched our other um, kind of grocery store tour thing. Um, you'll notice that these are different, so yeah, shops are always changing here. Every time I come here, it's like, oh, that's new. Salt to peanuts, 299 rubles for a kilo. Bananas, they are... 59 rubles a kilo, product of Ecuador. So, apples, pink ladies, 149.99. Картошка. These ones aren't looking very good. They good? So we wouldn't normally get um, the washed ones, um, but um, today there's only like a little bit of uh, a price difference between the washed and unwashed, and the washed ones. Well, more to the point, the unwashed ones don't look very good. So we're just going to get the washed ones. It's um, little man's turn. Huh? Little man's turn. It's your brother's turn. And these cucumbers are on special.
present section. What have we got here? Strawberry smoothies. Strawberry smoothies. Waiting to happen. Yummy. No sugar strawberries. Pork shoulder. 275 rubles a kilo. It's on special. So prices for um, Pork and stuff like that have gone up, meat in general, uh, but it's just come down again a little bit. It's 275 rubles a kilo for pork shoulder. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments how much meat is in your area where you live. Uh, it'd be really interesting to find out uh, what the difference is of prices for meat around the world. So, um, I had to do the last little bit of the shop, um, like go through the checkout without me because the children need to go to the toilet, so we've uh, finished at the same time. So uh, yeah, we need time to go home. You can find them even in Russia. So this is our receipt of all the stuff that we bought. Um, it was 5,709 rubles for all of the grocery part of it. That yeah, doesn't include the containers. Um, it is tax inclusive. So um, yeah, if you want to compare prices or stuff like that, then you will have like uh, for say America or something like that, then you will have to add tax to the price that you see on the shelf. Um, to get an accurate comparison. Um, this will do us about oh, close to two weeks um, of uh, all meals like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, all that kind of thing after dinner, you know, get the munchies. Um, uh, it doesn't include milk. I'll add the price to that um, a bit later. I think it's about, I think we pay about 400 rubles a week um, for milk um, which we get from a like straight from the farm the guy brings the truck around and we get it from there um, we also would normally mill our own flour um, but we are still looking for a good source of like quality wheat so if any of you guys know where to get some here in Nova Sibirsk that would be fantastic don't forget to leave a comment down below um, and also let us know what prices are like uh, where you guys live um, in 
whichever country that is, uh, you know, leave your country and then what prices are like. That would be fantastic to hear from you guys all, uh, from all you guys. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you liked it, don't forget to give it a um, thumbs up and um, yeah, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Uh, apart from that, we'll see you next time. Take care.